What is RDD partitioning? In this video, let's look at 1. What is RDD partitioning? and 2. Some of the characteristics of partition in Spark. First, what is RDD partitioning? Partitioning in general is nothing but dividing the data set into parts. If the data set is too large, it cannot fit into a single node in the cluster. So we need to split the data set into different parts and store it into different nodes of the cluster. In Hadoop, the data set is divided into different parts known as blocks and they are stored into different nodes of the Hadoop cluster. Similarly, in Spark, the input data set is divided into different parts called partitions and are stored into worker nodes of the Spark cluster. If you can recollect, we saw in the video Apache Spark Architecture, the Spark cluster has worker nodes, whereas the Hadoop cluster has data nodes. Since the core abstraction of the Spark is RDD, and since the data is split into partitions before storing into the Spark cluster, the process is called RDD partitioning. Now that we have seen what RDD partitioning is, let's look at some of the characteristics of partitions in Spark. One, every node in Spark cluster contains one or more partitions. Two, partition doesn't span to multiple nodes of the Spark cluster. Three, the number of partitions can be configured too high or too low number of partitions is not good for the performance. In this video, first we saw that splitting the RDD into different partitions is called RDD partitioning. Next, we saw some of the characteristics of the Spark partitions. In the next video, let's look at why we should create partitions in Spark.